Thank you for clicking on the video. Here today, this is a very special interview video that I'm doing with a mystery guest. Someone who has more subscribers than I do on my YouTube channel is the really the only person that has more subscribers than me in our small little town. And I'm gonna talk to them here on my channel today. I'm extremely excited. I didn't know if this person would ever show up on my channel to, to just sit and talk with me. So uh, to find out who that is, stay tuned after my little intro. Thank you. So here today, the mystery guest that I'm actually talking to is none other than my wife, Mallory, who's sitting here next to me. And she is the only other person here in our small town that has more YouTube subscribers than me. And she basically uh, does all the editing. She's the brains behind the Area Diesel YouTube channel. I'll probably throw a screenshot or a link or something in here for that, uh, which has nothing to do with home theater. It's like the complete opposite thing of home theater. But uh, she does all the like background stuff on that channel and refuses to do anything with me on my channel. So I am actually super surprised that I was actually able to get her here to talk with me in this video. Uh, so Mallory, you wanna just say hi and introduce yourself? So I'm okay. not just talking okay. over you. Okay, first off, I don't refuse. I just said, please don't ask me to help you do anything with your channel. Um, because I have thousands of at, like editing hours and I know yeah no that's that is legitimate because she'll come home from work every day and just talk about how much editing and how much filming and stuff she has to do for her channel well it's technically not even her channel her company's channel but yeah she's kind of the one tasked with all that yeah but... and I'm not in front of the camera I am behind the camera and the editor mm -hmm. I let other people make fools of themselves <laughs> instead yeah. of me until now yep I know you do the stuff with Area Diesel and the editing and everything behind the camera. What's your opinion of like me doing this channel here on YouTube? Okay, well, my opinion on it is just like, I don't know, I think it's good that you do it. And one thing I find really interesting about it is if somebody met you in real life, you would say like two words to them because <laughs> he's pretty introverted in real life. Um, I mean, he's still like approachable and nice, but he's also like six, four. So people don't often approach him, um, just to be like, Hey, let's be buddies. But when I watch you on your videos and stuff, it just cracks me up sometimes. Cause you're just very like, Hey guys, welcome mm -hmm. to my channel. And it's just seems, I don't know. I guess it's just that like. Tycho Kids Cam kid in you or something. Speaking of that, that is a future video coming out. The Tycho Kids Cam, I'm not gonna get into it here. But that was a huge thing that started me, kind of unbeknownst to it at the time, down this path, I guess, to be on YouTube way back a long time ago. I appreciate that you like have a reason to buy all the stuff and like sneakily hide it and act like you didn't get a speaker <laughs> from like Shop Goodwill. Like, what's this big box? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I'm sure you don't know. I know. I have a reason now. It's a business oh, it's expense for, for it's, YouTube. It's for a video I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Anyways, but that's talking about my YouTube channel a little bit. I guess one of the other things I wanted to ask you up front is what, what do you actually think about the home theater? And I want you to say something positive about it first <laughs> before you like turn me to shreds about buying stuff. So if you could <laughs> say something nice. <laughs> now you make me just sound like, like no, she, she's no not lady. Mean. She's not me. I but. just am really intuitive and he tries, like no one can really put something past me. Cause I just can like, I don't know. I just have an intuition. I can like read between the lines or like, mm -hmm. I don't know, see a giant box on my front porch and be like, hmm, wonder what's in the giant box. There's a random packing yeah, peanut laying I on the did. step somehow. <laughs> I, <laughs> How did that happen? Yeah, that did happen. I said, why is there a packing peanut on the step? Uh, what? Maybe clean up after yourself a little bit better. <laughs> Yeah, you're like a mouse in like a Disney movie. Like, oops. Yeah. Anyhow, um, 
what I like about the, I mean, I like having an in home theater a lot. I do enjoy helping you organize and kind of decorate and redecorate, even though we've redecorated it a few times. Mm. Um, but I enjoy like just laying on the back couch with my dog and eating popcorn and watching stuff. I will say off the cuff on this, I know Mallory's not super into home theater stuff like I am or a lot of people that are in this space on YouTube and watch these videos. But I will admit, and I guess I'm just the typical guy for stuff like this, but Mallory usually comes up with really good ideas for doing things. And I will usually ignore her and tell her I don't want to do that. And then down the road, realize that I probably should have done what she told me to do. Uh, case in point, you can't really see it on the camera, but like our drop ceiling in here, when we had to redo the room because my stuff had fallen off the walls, I've talked about that in another video. Uh, but when that had all happened and we repainted and did everything, she told me to paint the ceiling with the black paint. And I was like, oh no, that's not a big deal. I don't need to do that. And then uh, on the spur of the moment, like a month or two later, I just painted this little section with black paint and put up the actual soundproofing pads and stuff up there. And uh, she just looked at me and was like, why didn't you do that to begin with? And it's just because I was stubborn and didn't think about it. You know, but I will give Mallory credit for that. She does come up with a lot of decent ideas and other people will kind of just be like, yeah, that's not my thing. Don't want anything to do with it. Just go off and have your fun. But I am glad she gets involved with that stuff. She's also been helping me with ideas for a future video that will be coming at some point here in the future with Elite Screens, who's sponsoring a video or a couple videos and sending me some screen material to make uh, another projector screen. And she's been helping me with the ideas of how to do everything back here and all that. So I am appreciative that Mallory does want to help out, you know, with stuff like that. He sold out to the man. Yeah, I did. No. <laughs> I, I did. It's not going to be a regular thing, but for this one situation it will be. But I'll get into more of that later on. Yeah, I don't mind discussing, like ideas or you know that when you talked about you know should i look into sponsorships or accept sponsorships people email you with opportunities and i don't mind discussing that kind of stuff with you and saying you know what are items that people may buy new even mm. if they buy everything else secondhand um because we thrift a lot that's where a lot of this also comes from is we do go thrift and we like to do that together so I mean, I know from going to, there's certain items that you just don't come across secondhand. Um, so that was kind of what we discussed that, you know, there's stuff out there that people are going to buy brand new because either it's already kind of economical to do or it's hard to like ship or it's, you know, people only replace it if it completely yeah. gets and, broken or ruined. So, yeah, and not to you know. go on off on a tangent about this, but like projector screens are one of those things you basically have to either buy them in person when they're fully constructed secondhand, you know, like go to someone's house and pick it up and hope you have a vehicle big enough to bring it back. Or when you buy it online, it comes in pieces and you have to assemble it at your house. So it is a very like hard thing to kind of like do secondhand. But yeah. Anyways, but that's not the point of this video, but Mallory does help out with a lot of that and give good ideas. I'm even an if idea I'm, person. I even am. if <laughs> I'm too stubborn <laughs> to actually take them up front. What, other content would you like to see me do on the channel or what are some of the things you like about the content I do? Cause I'm always trying to keep things fresh, but also keep a certain like pattern going. So yeah. it's not too out of the. Yeah. Cause we discussed that too. Cause I, right now there are three projectors mounted on the wall and that's too, too many in my brain, but we discuss things and kind of, you know, look to the future of what are other things you can do? That's not just, oh, you bought six different projectors and now these huge items are just littering the basement or whatever. Um, so that's kind of something we talked about is just how to get into some other avenues. Um, and I can't remember if it was you or I that discussed it or maybe together. Uh, we talked about, you know, some of your some of your viewers, some of your fans, some of your subscribers might have their own home theater and they may want to kind of share it uh, because they're proud of what they've put together and what it looks like, but they don't want to start a whole YouTube channel because they don't want to get kicked out of their home for buying four projectors. <laughs> There was kind of an idea there of it would be it'd be neat to go in person and see someone's home theater, but everybody, you know, 
we, we live in rural Illinois. Yeah. Where is everyone located? Would that be feasible? Like, we both have full-time jobs and... You know, so um, we kind of discussed that, which some of it could be if you were a little bit more local or something. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. then you discussed like the f- having them film it. Yeah, there are other channels, which maybe I'll link them below. I have to look them up. I don't know them off the top of my head that do stuff like that where subscribers and people who are friends of the channel, whatever, will take uh, B-roll footage or a tour themselves on their own phone or their own camera and send the file in and then they kind of the main youtube channel narrates over it or they talk to another person or the person who filmed it and kind of like narrate over what's going on so i've thought about stuff like that mallory was also one granted it was kind of a joint idea but she was also the one that kind of brought up the idea of going to the record exchange and doing content there which is one of i think like the second most popular video i have on my channel uh, she's also mentioned about talking to my local, our local like theater here in town because it's a real small family-run place, and trying to do something there. And we have a local drive-in to that's a in drive-in the next theater, town over. Yeah. And I thought it would be interesting content to find out what you know what kind of projector you have to utilize to project mm-hmm. outside yeah. like that. Um, and they they're relatively new owners. They've had it for a few years. It's Route 66 Skyview. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's the same drive-in. Uh, if you watch my Friday the 13th, like Freddy versus Jason video, my poster I have that I took, basically I ripped it off, you know, off their website and just made a poster of it. But that's what it is. It's the Skyview drive-in in uh, Litchfield, Illinois. But yeah. that would be something more probably for the summer because I know they're going to be closing up their season pretty soon if they haven't done it already. It's next week. Or next week, mm-hmm. yeah. So, but that could be something next year, you know, on the on the channel. But a funny little note, my birthday is actually October 18th. Um, and coincidentally, October 18th, 2023 is actually the date I founded this channel. So it's coming up just on one year, even though it took me like, two, three months, four months, whatever, to actually, like, build up the courage to actually post content on here and actually start doing something. For you, what do you think, or what is something you'd like to see happen with my channel in the next, like, year, you know, year two and year three kind of going forward? Do you think this could be something that would get, you know, a lot bigger than what it is now, or do you think I'm kind of in my space where I'm going to sit for a while? What do you think? I would like to see you get a little bit of revenue back from, you know, your views and upgrade some of your little equipment that you take with you. It's secondhand home secondhand home theater, but also most of the items he uses. I will say it's not just secondhand home theater. It is secondhand Everything. channel. The camera I'm using secondhand, the tripod I'm using is a janky secondhand. It's a real high quality tripod but But the little nut is broken broken. (laughs) so i'm using clamps to hold everything up on there my uh stage lighting Mm -hmm. or filming lights you want to talk about they're not second hand but i bought them at the dollar store uh you know so i do everything for the most part on on the cheap as best Mm -hmm. as i can with some exceptions i mean some of my home theater equipment projectors cost a little more because it's a per capita type thing but yeah i try and like stay on as strict as cheap as I can do it with a lot of stuff but yeah yeah it'd be nice if you could you know just maybe get yourself like some kind of all-in-one thing to make mm. it a little bit easier and yeah we've discussed a little bit more like mobile. a gopro or something yeah. like that or whatever but. we have we have lots of subscribers at work and we just got a grow gopro so it, <laughs> it really yeah. has I've seen the benefits of having something like that it's not you know one size fits all. It's not the best of everything, but mm-hmm. it does make it a little easier. You're hoping I don't kick you out. And that is a big one. <laughs> hoping that I still have a home come here to. <laughs> that I'm not, you know, secondhand home theater out of a van. <laughs> secondhand. Somewhere. Unhomed theater. <laughs> the unhomed theater, yeah. Uh, Maybe cut that. <laughs> Maybe we'll have some outtakes after this. I don't know. We like going to our local cinema, local theater here in town. We've also been to a couple other ones in Springfield and Edwardsville, Illinois, uh, like the IMAX theaters. We most recently went down to the Alamo to see Alien Romulus, which was, you know, an experience to say the least. And uh, I guess my question would be, how do you compare watching stuff here versus going to those places and more specifically going like to our local place? The family that owns the, the theaters are really active and really like 
great for being in our small communities. But, you know, like a like a traditional theater, a lot of it is ran by like teenage high school kids. And mm -hmm. I'm sure they get trained, but, you know, they they may not be super confident in trying to, you know, make sure everything is good to go because usually they're trying to get everybody their popcorn and soda and get them in their seats. So, yeah, there are times where we've kind of gone and in. I can tell just sitting there like, oh, well, I guess we'll have to watch this at home because I can't really hear all of the dialogue right yeah. now. <laughs> Things yeah. like that. Sometimes, I will, will admit, sometimes the sound will kind of be down. Yeah, I, um, I will admit. And again, it's not a knock on the theater because it's a historic site with everything, you know, the history of it. And it is a good business for our, our small little town that we're in. But I, w I will admit sometimes the audio and the visual things happen. There's glitches. I remember we saw the Ghostbusters Afterlife, I think yeah, it was. Yeah. And the hard drive with the thing on it, the movie on it, got all stuck and frozen up. And I went out and had to talk, you know, with the kid yeah. behind the counter to try and fix it. And, well, yeah. Uh, and, and honestly, they may be trained to only do certain things and they may be told like, yeah. don't, which I mean, rightfully and, yeah. so they may be told like, don't mess with that. Just restart it. And if it doesn't work, then just yeah, send everyone, everyone home. And back. then like yeah. the professionals will come look at it. Yeah. Cause I guarantee their projectors cost way more than the projectors we have yeah. here. Yeah. Um, but I will say one other thing with that though. Uh, as much as I'm not a huge fan of her, when we went to go see a year or two ago, the Taylor Swift uh, concert, like Eras Tour thing yeah, 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 yeah. that they did, they yeah. ran a special, you know, promotional uh, screening of it at our local theater here in town. And I didn't know this at the time, but Mallory was telling me that part of the requirement is all the theaters had to have EQ leveling done on all the speakers and yeah, subwoofers and stuff. Played at the same level. At a certain everywhere. decibel yeah. level and all this stuff mm -hmm. for the presentation. And ever since then, they've never gone back to change it. So I actually have to shout out Taylor Swift. <laughs> Thanks, Taylor Swift. Because <laughs> that movie has uh, drastically improved the experience at our local theater, you know, ever since then. Matt's demographic's not always like the Taylor Swift demographic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm not even, I wouldn't even like proclaim myself a Swifty. I just, I very much like all like pop culture. I like to consume music and movies. Like I like it all. And I just knew that it would be good it would be worth like the ticket to go see and when i had heard about the audio aspect of it i thought i have a way in to get matt to go because mm -hmm. he's such a audiophile nerd that he will he will go because i said well the, they'll have to turn it up loud it's part of the contract <laughs> yeah yeah so i i definitely enjoyed that mm -hmm. But going along, because you brought up about pop culture stuff, we were also mm -hmm. going to talk about, which I've questioned you on this mm -hmm. beforehand, and you didn't really have an answer, but what are some of your favorite movies or franchises for stuff that you like to watch? Because it's no secret, if you've watched my channel, I love the Alien franchise. That's my favorite. So, like, what and about I you? And I don't dislike the Alien franchise by any means. I like it, too, but... Mm -hmm. When, when it's someone else's favorite and that's what they like test mm -hmm. every speaker with, sometimes you're like, can we watch something different? <laughs> Other things exist. It's hard for me to peg down because I just like to consume. I like to consume everything. I like to watch all kinds of movies. I like to watch, as I always tell Matt and we get on little tiffs about it, I like episodic things. He's not huge at watching a season of things. He I'm wants to watch a like a, yeah. watch a movie start to finish or like a limited series. I did get him hooked into Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, and um, Last of Us. Mm -hmm. we, we really watched that, like actually watched those episodes. Um, I like Harry Potter. As you can probably tell, this is Harry Potter shirt. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably not my, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. The I one really that jumped like out it. to me, like I Lord said. Lord of the Rings. Is Lord of the Rings. But that's like from high school onwards, I just, I think I am a hobbit. Mm. I am a hobbit -sy. So that's just something like near and dear to my heart. Like almost like it's a culture of mine, mm -hmm. even though it's fantasy. But that's okay. Um, and I like musicals and stuff like that too, which Matt's not huge on that, but... That's another thing that we finally compromise, and, and I think he's found a few things that he probably actually does like. Mm -hmm. 
Because, again, the audiophile in you, that part of, like, those kind of movies is usually, like, the sound mix is yeah. always really good. And with musicals, we were actually talking about this the other day when we were going through all the questions for this video. And, you know, talking about, like, our favorite content and stuff. I'm not too big on like what you would consider the traditional American musical, like you know, the sound of music, sound of music and La La <laughs> Rogers Land and, and Hammerstein stuff like that. You know, that's okay for what it is. And I know it has its following, but like for me, I'm more about like uh, biography kind of movies that encompass music. So like rocket man, I really enjoy that Bohemian Rhapsody, mm -hmm. uh, even to a lesser extent, the re most recent remake of a star is born. Yeah. You did like, I that. really like that. Yeah, that was pretty good. Probably one of my favorite movies, though, too, that I can watch again and mm -hmm. again is, like, Across the Universe. I do really like mm -hmm. that, but I really yeah, like the Beatles. Um, oh, and another thing I really like is, like, British period dramas. Oh, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I swear, anything I ever watch, you always walk in and someone's naked. Like, Oh, yeah. And I'm oh, like, yeah. it can be any show on any channel, I swear. It's like... Mm -hmm. It's like, sorry, every people just yeah. are naked always. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I walk in, I'm like, oh, you're watching that again, huh? Yeah. Oh, no, I that's yeah, it. but no, she watches a ton of the period dramas. I will, I will like, I will get crushes on people, and then I will watch every movie they've ever been in, and then he'll go, oh, what movie is this? And then he will like see. Like the actor Depending walk who, by, and he's whoever like, oh, the flavor of the month is. that's why you're watching yeah. that. Mm -hmm. But I've always been like that. I remember when I was like a, in junior high, I watched, you know, it was like the time of Adam Sandler movies, and I watched like a popular, I don't know if it was, it was probably Billy Madison or something, but I watched like a popular Adam Sandler movie of that year and then I just like back cataloged watch everything he was ever in and then like watched everything he was ever in after that mm. you know kind of thing and I did that with like John Cusack like I just yeah. another one I didn't know this until later on in our relationship but Mallory was a huge fan of like Jimmy Fallon and she told me that like in high school or early college years <laughs> she had actually started up a Jimmy Fallon like fan thing and she had a bunch of people convinced online she really was Jimmy <laughs> they were, Fallon. They were old Yahoo chat groups <laughs> and they were like Jimmy Fallon Yahoo chat groups. I didn't start the group. I just was chatting in the group and people thought I was him and I just went with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. I don't know. An I just, early online troll. I, I yeah. But I, I'm like, I mean, it's not just actors. It's actresses no. as well. Too, Mallory you know? also. I'll just, I just will like want to watch their full body of work when I like yeah. them. You know, like Florence pew it was like let's watch every movie she's ever been in mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah i get like that every once in a while with something and mallory will be surprised if i say oh we should watch this because this has this person or it was directed or produced by so and so or whoever yeah. but one other thing to wrap up about like the content stuff mallory also is real big on she likes watching new content not so much back catalog stuff. So when I try and push watching back catalog stuff, especially if it's something she's never seen, she's usually resistant to it because she wants to watch new stuff. And not that I don't enjoy watching new stuff, because I will, but I also from time to time want to watch older things, you know, just to watch down here. And she usually isn't too interested in, in that. Well, or, sometimes it's just the taste of what you want to watch. Or the type of movie, because especially now it's October, Halloween, trying to like watch horror movies and stuff. And Mallory does not like the vast majority of that sort of thing. Uh, her biggest thing that she always says is she likes watching good horror movies, <laughs> not like bad, bad stuff, you know, bad stuff. So, you know, yeah. I got to walk that line too with things, but... For yeah. the most part, we're pretty accommodating. I mean, even with going to see Alien Romulus. I mean, we both wanted to go see a movie at the Alamo after we had, like, realized what it was. Because we had seen the Alamo Draft House down in St. Louis as we walked by it and drove by it. But we just thought it was, like, a bar restaurant place. We didn't know it was actual, like, a movie theater experience. But we kind of came to the agreement that if we went to go see Alien Romulus, we would go then see something that Mallory wanted to see. So a future video that'll be coming out later this year is we're going to go back there to see the new release of Wicked. Yeah. You know, so it's like a tit for tat kind of thing with yeah. it. Which I'm, again, not a huge musical person, but I am excited to see that like there at the Alamo. Cause I well, think there's it'll certain be good. movies that are made that like 
It's worth mm-hmm. seeing it in a theater. Like all the Disney animated movies and stuff. It's like, but to see them like in a certain way, it's kind of worth it. But that's what's nice about having the home theater too, is like animation always looks so good like in the home theater as well. Yeah, the first movie I ever played that sold her on the original project, well, not original, but like the second projector I ever got, my old Epson like 2035 or whatever it was. Uh, When I first got that and bought it and brought it in here and hooked it up way back years ago, like eight years ago or whatever it was, uh, the very first movie I showed her was Frozen. And because Mallory came down here and saw it and was like, really? You know, like (laughs) totally dejected. And then I put on Frozen (laughs) And Mallory watched the first, like, five or ten minutes of Frozen, and she's like, pause the movie. And I was waiting for her to, like, say something <laughs> to me about whatever. Blow up, no. <laughs> yeah, and she just looked at me and goes, okay, it's good, you can keep it. Yeah, it's and, a lot. I think I said, <laughs> play like, the movie. okay, it is a lot better. <laughs> it, yeah, I'm one of those people that if something bothers me, I just say it and get it out of my system, and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. There mm. we go. Okay, I have another comment, because I know that... You know, I give them a lot of crap because we've had like we've reoriented the home theater room and painted things and changed things around. But it would be neat in the future to build a pla- an actual platform to elevate like the rear seating um, because right now they're on like bed risers, which is fine. But sometimes we've broken a couple pair of those. A little scary. <laughs> so it'd be nice, and it would be nice to have. Um, you know, some like more custom like couches. I know that he really wants like theater, actual theater seating. I've been on that kick for a long time. Well, I was, I was always anti theater seating. And then when we went to the Alamo and I was like, well, you can have theater seating if they're like these, like Mm -hmm. leather recliners with like food next to me. Yeah. (laughs) But yeah, I, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, if we, if this channel blows up and you make lots of money, you know, you can make your own custom theater overall. That's fine. But it would be nice to build a platform. Um, so then, because we also have an old dog and then he can get up mm. easier on it too. Well, and then my giant head's in the way, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> and everything. But yeah, that is something I would enjoy doing down the line yeah. is building a riser, a platform, just something there that's a little bit of a step up so that yeah. you're stadium style but yeah i would like to get the seating too you know whether it's more traditional theater seats you know like ones you would actually see at a normal commercial cinema not so much as the alamo Mm -hmm. or ones like at the alamo that are actual more like for those of you out there in the know like valencia seats and stuff like that yeah valencia sponsor us (laughs) do you even know know what valencia even is um i'm assuming they're the seats like the alamos (laughs) yeah okay all right they're probably like really high quality leather (laughs) seats are they what is that 4d where you like vibrate yeah, yeah, with like <laughs> butt kickers and all kinds of like they stuff. They spray water in your face. Yeah, and yeah. fans and all that. Yeah. No, I, I don't mind a comfortable theater seat, but one of the benefits of having the home theater is I can lay down if I oh, want yeah. to. She is I just definitely... want like a chaise lounge. I'm the cat meme that's like, she is are you sleeping the back there? I'm like, nope. Yeah. Honk shoe, honk shoe. Yep. She is definitely, I think, especially when I'm like, if you want to watch this, you've got to <laughs> sit upright. <laughs> sit you upright. can't lay down because as soon as you lay down, you're going to fall asleep, you know, and then the dog is up there laying next to her and he's, all that. Oh, sort of, he's asleep now. I know. He's, he's laying he's back there asleep. now. It's okay. But There's a cat. And a cat and a dog. Yeah. But right. anyways. Now we're getting off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any just overall comments or anything towards... My, I guess you call them my fans, just my people who watch, you know, subscribers, viewers out there. Anything for them, I guess, just in general? Any comments or anything? Um, I guess I just do appreciate the comments that you guys leave for Matt because a lot of them are really positive. And there's a lot that are thought-provoking, and I'll see a comment, and then I'll tell him, you should make a video about that. So that's mm-hmm, really nice mm-hmm. when you do have comments that, um, you know, are legitimate interactions with the channel especially you know everybody knows that youtube can have you know <laughs> yeah you get the person who just says wow this video sucks like wow you're floating head <laughs> yeah hey thanks that's a great comment <laughs> i mean and it's to each their own which i people people yeah. use youtube for their own means and it's you know that's their prerogative yeah. but it is it is cool that 
there is an interaction with, you know, your community. Hmm. And then I did, you know, when, when he started posting things and reading the comments, I just thought, oh, thank goodness you have other friends because don't talk to me about that stuff sometimes. Because <laughs> when it gets really technical, I mean, we will sit here and be listening to something and I can see his like wheels turn that something is like not sounding right. And I all I know is, well, I guess this weekend we're going to have to find a new center channel. And that just drives me crazy. Um because I will have to toot my own horn the one time you had a speaker not sounding right. And I, and I told you, can you just look at connections? Just, just, I'm just miss try to fix it first. You can get something if it's broken, but please try to fix it first. So, you know, and that has made you more content too. You've taken some of that and mm -hmm. fixed some things. and Yeah, granted, as <laughs> it's a perfect segue into stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, that, on my DCM speakers, I do have a video about that where I replaced all the tweeters and just kind of filmed all that, which yeah. I don't have those <laughs> speakers here anymore. Yeah, because you fixed them and sold I, them. I fixed them and then sold them. That's perfectly <laughs> fine. Let's do that <laughs> with broken things. Yeah. But no, yeah, Mallory does see stuff like that. And I admit to, I try, I've tried to get better about not letting some imperfection in the video or an audio thing, like, get to me when we're watching something. Like, I try and hold it in until we're done and Mallory leaves the theater room. <laughs> and then I can freak out about it because I know she, hey, I don't know how many times she's seen me pull up the little grid pattern on the projector to make sure mm -hmm. it's aligned properly because the lens has drifted up or down or left or right on there. Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, no, I, I try to stay out of doing that stuff now and try and just deal with it until everything's over with. Yeah, it's kind of like that trap everyone falls into of what do you want to watch? And you go through like the streaming channel and you click through it and click through it and click through it. And you're like, yeah. oh, and an hour's you gone finally by. pick something. <laughs> and then he's like fixing the like brightness levels. I'm like, oh my gosh, just play the movie. Yeah. Well, um, I gotta adjust the lens. Well, this one doesn't have, this one doesn't have um, a remote adjuster on the lens. I got to do it manually. Yeah. Well, use a different projector. There's three. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. Sometimes it's exhausting, <laughs> and then it's like, well, it's too late to watch this movie. What do you want to watch? <laughs> now let's watch a TV episode. I want to watch a TV episode because you don't ever want to. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> The last little thing before we uh, end this video here is I do want to point out, uh, well, two things technically. One, although it may not mean much to anybody out there, but I always refer to Mallory as my wife in all my videos and all this stuff just because it's easier to like explain and just pass off on people. But technically, officially, we've never been married. We've never... <laughs> technically, we are not married. Yeah, technically. <laughs> it's not a technicality. We are not married. We've never, like, actually gone through the process of doing it. But we've been together for, like, 18 years now. And so, more or less, we're, like, a married couple without the actual form on there. But I talked to Mallory about bringing that up because I know sometimes that does, especially in the first video when she first saw me say that, kind of gave me the side eye of like, <laughs> like, oh, like oh, well, who's, who's your, your wife? wife? <laughs> yeah, you know, so, so that that's one thing. But the other thing I was gonna mention, which she already knows, I'm gonna mention mm -hmm. this, depending when this video posts, because it may post on the day or maybe the day before. But my birthday and, like I was saying earlier, the actual anniversary, official anniversary date of this channel is on October 18th. However, I'm like the luckiest guy in the world that this happened. Uh, her birthday is actually on the 17th of October, so it's the day before mine. And so part of the reason we're actually doing this video is I convinced her to come on here so this would be posted like on her birthday or right before her birthday. I just want to throw that out there so if anyone wants to leave a happy birthday comment. <laughs> what a birthday gift. Or, and it's a very special <laughs> birthday for her too. I won't mention Please what it is. Please monetize this <laughs> video. <laughs> yeah. And I will get the money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> so, but I wanted to throw that out there, that this is like a birthday thing for her as well, you know, and, and for me too, you know, the day after. But that is one of the and things channel. I want to throw out there. And my channel, yeah. <laughs> that's coming up, you know, here too. But I will say I'm actually super happy that Mallory came on here to do this. And I had been hyping it up for like the last few weeks, telling her about how I was super excited. And this is probably like the favorite thing I've done on my channel so far. Was just to sit here and talk to you. You're such a liar. 
No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a liar. I don't believe it. <laughs> no, I really am. I'm really excited. Oh, okay. To like talk to you on here. And again, without being too sentimental on stuff, I, I can say legitimately, you know, with all seriousness, this channel and just everything here probably wouldn't be what it is without Mallory. Oh my gosh. No, no, I'm being serious. <laughs> yeah. YouTube, this is what I deal with. She just laughs at me when I try and be sentimental. I'm sorry. I will be, I'll be legitimate. <laughs> no, no, it's true though. Like the, I wouldn't have the channel because she really encouraged me, you know, with everything. So I really do appreciate, you know, all that sort of stuff. But anyways, uh, so I'm going to close this video up. Uh, definitely uh, consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content. This is a little bit different than what I usually do, but hopefully it's entertaining to everyone out there. I'm, I've been thoroughly entertained sitting here talking to Mallory. But uh, I just snort. <laughs> anyways, um, I'm going to close up this video. I just want to say thanks to everyone out there. If you do enjoy the content I make on the channel here, definitely consider liking and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. Uh, also, for those of you out there who do have a significant other, definitely leave a comment down below if they share the interest of home theater with you or if they don't, you know, I'm or anxious to hear. Do. Or begrudgingly do. <laughs> uh, you know, or they just tolerate it, you know. But uh, definitely leave a comment down below about that. I'm going to say uh, thank you again, and I will see you the next time in the next video here on Secondhand Home Theater. Okay, second ham. Second ham. Let's take this dog pot. I kept saying second ham. <laughs>